Hi, my name is Carolina here at Yoga Tribe in Huntington Beach, California, filming a 30 minute gentle flow. Um, we're going to begin today in a comfortable seat, so go ahead and meet me there now. If you'd like bringing a pillow or a blanket underneath you, a block or two if you have one. Generally, I like to bring my knees below my hips. And when you're ready, bring the palms of your hands facing down on your knees. As you sit up tall through the spine, allow your shoulders to relax down the back. Maybe pulling the chin in slightly as you reach the crown of the head up. And closing the eyes if that's comfortable. Just taking five breaths here. Pulling it from the base of the spine up through the crown of the head. And then exhale, release it out. Today I'd like to practice with a theme of Santosha, contentment. It's going to be the second of the five Niyamas. Niyamas are part of the eight limb path of yoga. Teaching us all about being present, being grateful and content with all that is in our lives. It's the opposite of feeling that you constantly need to gain or become more than what the present moment is. Contentment creates a greater sense of gratification. And as you breathe here, letting go of the constant need to become so we can more easily just be. And release the breath another deep inhale and another slow and steady exhale and your next inhale reach the arms overhead bring the palms to face allow the shoulders to relax back allow your front ribs to be soft reach up through the fingertips take another inhale and on the exhale, drop the right hand to the mat as you reach your left hand up and over, maybe gazing up, stretching the right side of the body, the left. And then your next inhale, coming back to center. Reach up through the fingertips and on your exhale, dropping the left hand down, reaching up through the fingertips, maybe gazing up. And breathing into your right side. So nice. On your next inhale, coming back to center, interlace the fingers and reach the palm of the hands to face up. Reaching up through both the thumb side and pinky side of the fingers. Allow the shoulders to relax back. Oh, nice. Coming back. Bring your hands to your heart. Thumbs touch. Taking another breath here. And then interlace the hands again. As you push the palms away from you, round the spine. Pull the chest in, tucking your chin to your chest. Maybe gazing down. On your next inhale, flip the palms and bring them to your heart center. Lift the chest, maybe gazing up and moving your breath to your movement. Exhale, press away from you, round the spine. On your inhale, bringing your chest, meet your hands. And exhale, release away, push away. On your inhale, coming back to center, lift the chest. One more, just like that. And then when you're done with that, releasing your hands back to your knees, sit up tall through the base. 
and taking another breath. So nice meeting in a tabletop position, removing anything if you're sitting on it <coughs> as you bring your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Taking some natural movement here, maybe some circles with the hips. If you do anything, one direction, making sure you do it on the other. And then coming back to a neutral tabletop, drop the belly, lift the chest, cow pose, lift the tailbone, gaze up. On the exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, gaze at the navel. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the tailbone, biceps forward. On the exhale, round the spine, gaze at the navel, tuck the chin in. And another just like that at your own pace. Then coming back to tabletop, reach your right leg back and keep the right toes tucked, just hinging forward and back, bringing some movement into your wrists and the back of your right leg. And then dropping the right knee, stretching your left leg back, tuck your left toes, hinging forward and back. And then returning back to tabletop, walk your hands two to three inches ahead of your shoulders and spread the fingers, ground down through all five knuckles. And then tuck your toes, lift your knees up one inch. Gaze in between your fingers. Really press into the palms, press the floor away from you. And then bringing your hips back towards your ankles, keeping the knees hovering. Another breath here. Taking an inhale, and exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Finding any movement you might need, maybe bending one knee as you press the other heel down to the mat. And then finding stillness, allow both heels to melt down, maybe bringing a slight bend in the knees to find more space in the lower back. As you press the floor away from you, allow the head to relax, gazing between your shins. And taking a deep inhale. And just slow and steady exhale. The next inhale, gaze between your hands. The bottom of the exhale, slowly walking your feet up, planting your heel, then your toes until you bring your feet behind your wrists. Find a deep bend in the knees for ragdoll. Allow your belly to rest on your thighs, maybe grabbing onto opposite elbows, or keeping the fingertips on the floor, and swaying side to side as you release your lower back. If you took the elbows, releasing the hands back to the mat, and toe heel your feet together, big toes touch heels slightly apart. Finding a bend in the knees, slowly roll up, root to rise, all the way to stand, engaging the core, head is the last to lift, and roll the shoulders down the back. Reach down to the fingertips, finding one point of focus for your gaze. Your inhale, reach the arms overhead, palms face. Maybe bring the palms together and lift the gaze. On the exhale, hinge from the hip creases. Maybe slight bend in the knees, keep the lower back long. 
and release the hands down, crown of the head down. Bring your hips over your ankles. Your inhale, halfway lift, length of the lower back, pull the shoulders down, maybe bringing your hands to your shins, wherever you need to find that space. And then release. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back for plank pose, bringing the feet hips distance and your hips in line with your ankles and your shoulders. And then slowly pulling the elbows back, lower yourself down all the way to the belly option to drop to the knees. Keep the hands underneath the elbows, reach back through your toes on your inhale. Lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And on the exhale, release down. Your inhale, squeeze the chest, relax the glutes. Maybe gazing up. And on the exhale, release down. Last time, inhale, lift up. Maybe a little higher. And on the exhale, release. Press into the palms and tuck the toes, pressing yourselves up and back, down the facing dog. I'm taking a deep inhale. And a slow and steady exhale, lengthening the torso. Your next inhale, gaze between your hands. The bottom of the exhale, step hop or float your feet up to parallel, the top of your mat. Your inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Your inhale, reach to rise, upward salute, arms reach up overhead, palms face. On the exhale, Samasthiti, hands you press together at heart center. On your inhale, upward salute, arms reach overhead. And on the exhale, forward fold, in from your hip creases. Your inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the lower back. And on the exhale, plant the palms, stepping back, plank pose. Your inhale, shift your shoulders beyond the wrists. And on the exhale, lowering halfway down, finding a 90 degree bend in the elbows. Your inhale, upward facing dog. Press into the palms and the feet, lifting the thighs off the mat, finding space in the front of the shoulders. And on the exhale, tuck the toes, engage the core, downward facing dog. Taking a deep inhale. And a slow and steady exhale. Your next inhale, reach your right leg up and back. And on the exhale, scorpion the leg, bend the knee, bring the bottom of the right foot over towards the left side of the room. So you press evenly into both hands. Square your shoulders to the mat. That might mean dropping your right shoulder down. And make sure your left knee and left toes are facing straight forward as you let your left heel fall down. Reach your left hip crease up and back. Your next inhale, reach back through your right leg, squaring the hips. On the exhale, step between the hands. Keep your left knee lifted for runner's lunge, maybe coming up on your fingertips. Reach forward through the crown of your head. Engage your left quadricep. Keep your left hand planted. On your inhale, Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, open twist to the right. Reaching up through the right fingertips, find space in the shoulders. Maybe gazing up. Do engage your left quadricep, pack your left thighs up. Taking another inhale. And on the exhale, release the right hand down inside of the right foot and walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat for a lizard lunge. Feel free to drop the left knee here. Do you reach forward through the crown of the head? If your hip is open enough to come down onto your forearms, feel free to do so. Or if you have a block or Something close by can always bring that underneath. Mm 
And breathing into your left hip crease. And being gentle with yourself. you came down to your forearms, use a block. You can move that now as you plant the palms onto the mat. Keeping your hands inside of your right foot. Sit your hips, your hips back towards your left heel for a wide-legged half split. Straighten your right leg as you flex the toes back towards the shin. Keep your hands in between the right leg. Lift the chest and allow your torso to drape inside. Breathing into your right hamstring. Continue flexing your right toes back towards your shin. Your next inhale, lunging back into the right knee for lizard lunge, taking some dynamic movement Moving with the breath, inhale here. And on the exhale, wide legged half split. Inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, wide legged half split. Inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, wide legged half split. Sit your hips back. Lunging back into the right knee, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, and bring your right leg back for downward facing dog. Taking a deep inhale here, and a slow and steady exhale. On your inhale, reaching your left leg up and back. On the exhale, scorpion the leg, bend the knee, bring the bottom of the left foot over towards the right side of the room. Maybe dropping your left shoulder. If you lifted it, press evenly into both hands. And keep your right knee, right toes facing forward as you melt the heel down. Reach up and back through your right hip crease. Your next inhale, reach back through your left heel, square the hips. And on the exhale, step between the hands. Keep the right knee lifted. Reach forward through the crown of the head. And as you plant the right palm, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Reach up through the fingertips. Open twist to the left. Pack your right hamstring up. Maybe gazing up. Taking another inhale here. On the exhale, release your left hand inside of your left foot and walk it out to the edge of your mat and dropping your right knee for lizard lunge. Maybe coming down onto your forearms or a block on this side. Noticing if there's any differences from the first. This bringing your awareness, being curious without judgment. And then keeping your hands inside of your left foot, sitting your hips back for a wide-legged half split. Flex your left toes back towards your left shin. Allow your torso to drape inside of your left leg. Breathe into your left hamstring. Maybe a little tighter, looser from the first side and that's okay. And then taking some dynamic movement on this side. Your inhale, lunge into the left knee, reach forward through the crown of the head. And on the exhale, sit the hips back, straighten the left leg. Inhale, lizard lunge. And on the exhale, wide-legged half split. Inhale, lizard lunge. And on the exhale, sit the hips back, straighten the left leg, flex the left toes. 
Inhale, lunge forward. And then tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Meeting in a downward facing dog. Mm, taking a deep inhale. And a slow and steady exhale. And then drop to the knees, bring the shins to one side. So you sit the hips down, bringing your legs straight out in front of you. Bring the bottom of your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. On your inhale, reach the arms up, palms face, sit up tall through the spine. And on the exhale, turn towards your right leg and fold over, maybe grabbing onto your calf, your ankle, or behind the foot, wherever you are. Press the right thigh into the mat and flex the toes back towards your shin. And then, Forehead to knee, chin to chest. Continue flexing your right toes back towards your shin and dropping your left shoulder down. If you took the hands to the ankles, bring your right hand inside of the foot and reach the left arm back. Taking some dynamic movement here. Plant the left palm behind you. On your inhale, taking a modified wild thing, press into the foot and into the left shin as you reach the right arm back, gazing back. Lift the chest, lift the heart, maybe gazing to the wall behind you. And on the exhale, releasing down, keeping the left hand behind you, reaching your right hand for the inside of the right foot. And your inhale, plant the left palm, lift the hips, lift the chest. And on the exhale, releasing back down, grabbing onto your right foot or ankle. And your inhale, Press into the shins, lift the chest. And on the exhale, release. Coming back, bring both hands to the right foot. Noticing if there's any differences from the first time. And on your next inhale, slowly releasing. Coming all the way up to stand, switching sides, bend the right knee and bring the bottom of the foot into the left thigh. As you flex the left toes back towards the shins, on your inhale, arms reach up overhead, palms face. And then the exhale, turn to face your left leg as you fold forward. Flex your left toes back towards your shin, press your left thigh down. And then chin to chest, forehead to knee. And dropping your right shoulder down. Keeping a strong breath connection, taking a deep inhale. And a slow and steady exhale. And then bring your left hand inside of your left ankle. Reach your right hand behind you, plant the palm. On the inhale, modified wild thing. Press into the shin, into the foot, lift the chest, lift the heart, maybe gazing back. And on the exhale, slowly releasing the hips back down. Reach your left hand for your left foot. Inhale, plant the right palm, lift the chest, lift the hips. And on the exhale, release. Folding forward. Your inhale, plant the right palm and lift up. And on the exhale, release the hips, bringing both hands back to your left leg, noticing any differences on the side. And then on your next inhale, coming up to rise, bring both legs straight out in front of you. Maybe rocking side to side, 
sitting firmly onto your sitting bones. Press both thighs into the mat and flex the toes back towards your shins. Your inhale, arms reach up overhead, palms face. On the exhale, hinge from the hip creases, reaching forward for the outsides of your feet or your ankles or your shins, whatever allows you to sit up tall through the spine, avoid rounding your lower back. And keeping the legs active here, you can release the head down. And noticing what it feels like to take a deep inhale and a slow and steady exhale. Your next inhale, taking a halfway lift, lengthen the lower back. And on the exhale, slowly coming all the way up, finding the center of the mat with your hips. Slowly reaching the hands forward, rolling down all the way to your back. Arms reach up overhead, taking a wall to wall stretch, reaching through the fingertips and toes. And on the exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Maybe swaying side to side, massaging out your lower back. And then drop the left knee, drop the left foot to the mat, keep the left knee bent as you cross your right ankle over your left thigh, pressing the right knee away from you. You can stay here or if you'd like threading your right arm through, grabbing onto the back of your left thigh or the back of your left shin. Pull the left knee in towards you as you push the right knee away from you. You can close the eyes if you'd like. And then keeping the legs in this figure four shape, you can bring your hands out to a T or a goal post and then drop the legs as they are to the left. Bring the bottom of your right foot to the mat as your right knee points up towards the ceiling. You can turn your head to the right, gazing at your right fingertips. And keeping both shoulders planted firmly on the mat. Noticing what it feels like in this twist to take a deep inhale. And a slow and steady exhale. And then on your next inhale, returning back to center, unwind the legs and pull both of your knees into your chest. And then dropping the right foot to the mat. Taking a figure four on the second side. Cross your left ankle over your right knee as you push your left knee away from you. You can stay here if you'd like, threading your left arm through, grabbing onto the back of your right thigh or your shin. Pull your right knee in towards you, keeping the left toes flexing towards the left shin. And then keeping the legs as they are, bring your arms out to a T or goal post. And then drop the legs to the right. Bring the bottom of your left foot to the mat. Left knee points up towards the ceiling. And keep both shoulders on the mat, maybe gazing to the left. Noticing what it feels like on this side. To so take a deep inhale. And a slow and steady exhale. And slowly releasing back to center. Pull both knees into the chest, maybe swaying side to side. And taking any last movements. And then pull your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a little squeeze, taking any last movements you might need before coming into your final resting pose. 
And then when you're ready, extend the legs out. Maybe slightly tuck your shoulder blades under, finding more space at the heart center. Allow your ankles to roll out, fingertips to curl in. And then release yourself down, heavy to the mat. Any tension, letting go in the hips, the shoulders. Allow the back of the head to become heavy. Really seeing that little muscle between your eyebrows, widening the back of your tongue. Taking a minute or two here. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. When you're ready, slowly begin to bring some movement back to your body. Wiggle your fingertips and your toes, your ankles and your wrists. I'm stretching out tall, reaching through the fingertips and toes, and then rolling into your right side, coming up as gently as you can, press into the left hand. Coming up to a comfortable seat at the top of your mat. Maybe that's easy pose that we began with. If you like sitting up on a block or a pillow or a blanket. Sitting up tall through the spine. Bring your hands at heart center, maybe palms touch and the thumbs rest on the chest. We're bringing one hand on top of the other. Taking a moment, breathing here. Coming back to our feeling of contentment, meaning we keep a positive attitude in difficult times. We can choose to wallow in darkness or we can rise above, see them as opportunities for transformation. Discovery, the more we choose contentment, the more we are able to grow. Thank you guys for joining me in your practice today. Namaste. Boom. Yeah. I feel like it was kind of hard at one point. I was like, ooh. It got hard? There's like one point I like kind of broke a sweat and I was like, huh, this what? is...